Hi guys! Welcome back to Ferris Tutorials. In today's episode, we're looking at Tourism Unit 2 and we're exploring Content 4, which is entitled Opportunities for Entrepreneurship. And we'll highlight the non traditional areas as well as the secondary or subsidiary activities and also the requirements for establishing a tourism enterprise. Want to find out more? Stay tuned. Tourism Unit 2, Module 3, Entrepreneurship. And in today's session, we're looking at Content 4, which is entitled opportunities for entrepreneurship and this episode highlights the non-traditional areas also secondary or subsidiary activities and the requirements for establishing a tourism enterprise now let's take a look at the learning objective by the end of the session you should be able to evaluate business opportunities in the tourism industry now let's take a look at the opportunities for entrepreneurship and we're kicking things off with the non-traditional areas now non-traditional opportunities for entrepreneurial ventures in the caribbean includes homestays volunteering camping backpacking and also agritourism for example farm stays, farm tours. No non-traditional opportunities for entrepreneurial venture in the Caribbean. And the first one we're looking at is homestays. Now, what are homestays? A homestay is a popular form of hospitality and lodging whereby visitors stay in a house or apartment of a local of the city. To which they are traveling good as the name suggests homestays so visitors or tourists stay within houses or apartment for local within the city so for example in the country say Jamaica right now a person who is doing a homestay will not go to a hotel or a resort to stay but they will go to the home of a local person that is living within probably the city of Montego Bay or of Kingston, right? Now, the length of stay can vary from one night to even a year. Good. I remember when we speak of the definition of who is a tourist, a person that has to spend what? When we speak of the, net, the time frame, it has to be more than 24 hours, but less than one consecutive year right and this is why the length of stay for home stays as it relates to entrepreneurial ventures will range from one night to even a year good all right now let's take a look at volunteering now this refers to the practice of individuals going on a working holiday volunteering their labor for a worthy cost good so you may have some persons from time to time in your country that they come to volunteer maybe helping out with shelters it may be providing medical services right it includes the restoration also of certain specific environments or research into aspects of society or the environment so it's like they come for a holiday yes but yet they are volunteering good so they call it it is properly popularly called a working holiday good all right now the next non-traditional area that we're looking at is camping camping is an outdoor recreational activity involving overnight stays away from home in a shelter such as a tent a caravan or even a motor home generally participants leave developed areas to spend time outdoors in more natural ones 
to in pursuit of activities providing them enjoyment all right so camping it's done in a tent involving overnight stays good it can be a tent it can be a caravan or it can be a motor home in which they may drive and they stop and they camp out good and what they do is to engage in activities for enjoyment so they may have a campfire they may have hiking or outdoor cooking all of that all right now let us look at our next non-traditional opportunity and we're looking at agritourism agritourism involves any agriculturally based operation or activity that brings visitors to farm or a ranch so agritourism is any activities that what that are based on bringing visitors to a farm or a ranch so you have some persons that may go on farms they will stay there they will um, engage in the purpose of probably picking apples other fruits even sometimes going fishing and taking care of livestock as well it may be pineapples whatever the case may be as long as as long as it is an agricultural based activity and you have persons who travel for these reasons all right now let us turn our focus now to the secondary or subsidiary activities good now these are not the primary activities while persons will come or these are not the primary uh, businesses that persons gravitate to they are classified as secondary because they're still important for uh, non-traditional and traditional businesses to operate successfully and these areas are like gas stations they will need transportation to and fro there's also medical services if persons become sick and also an example there may also include coconut vendors all right so those are the secondary activities we may also probably can even consider them as amenities that are very much needed right as side businesses as it relates to opportunities for entrepreneurship good and those activities are very much so important all right now let us look at government requirements for establishing a tourism enterprise and we're going to zoom in on the licenses and permits and also regulations all right so we're starting off with licenses and permits. Now, license and permits are needed to show that the tourism businesses has passed or fulfilled the basic requirements to operate legally, right? So there must be a license for these business to operate. They also demonstrate that the entrepreneur or business owner have some proven level of expertise in the field good so acquiring the correct license or the correct permit for a particular type of business demonstrate that the entrepreneur have some form of expertise in that particular field right for example food preparation or spa operation require that the owner has a right license and permits as these businesses pose some measure of risk to the clients good and as it relates to food preparation we're talking about preventing contaminants right so persons will not have foodborne illnesses as it relates to the spa operation you know that things may be using on the skin so they must be very much aware of the effects of these uh, things that they are using and to be knowledgeable to be licensed to, to perform certain tasks within these businesses now as it relates to passing certain regulation regulations refer to operating standards and they differ by sector good so based on the type of tourism sector these operations these regulations differ a jet ski operator may have regulations or operating procedures that include a license 
a life vest and also insurance. On the other hand, a bed and breakfast owner would need to have a minimum of the correct furniture, ventilation, exit and entry signs, and also a fire extinguisher to pass government regulations to operate. Now, unlike licenses and permits, regulations may not always be enforced. Good. Now we're at the questions. Number one, identify three non-traditional opportunities for entrepreneurial ventures in the Caribbean. Three marks. Outline two government requirements for establishing a tourism business. Four marks. You are awesome. You've made it to the end of the session. Please remember to subscribe, like, turn on your post notification bells so you can be notified when there's another upload. Also, drop a comment and share with persons who you know will find this information useful. Thank you for making it Fairies Tutorials.